What's up travel? It's we're back here in Oakland Chinatown. Today we're gonna be shooting late night dining. So yeah, let's go get it. First spot on our list is Shooting Star Cafe. This is a spot I would always go to late night, not just for a meal, but for desserts as well. I love their mango Gigi. And you know, that's what I'm gonna be getting over there. Shooting Star is one of those spots I've been going to for a decade for some warm filling food or some cold sweets. So we got here our Shooting Star, our yeah. late night eat. What do you have? I got their baked seafood over rice. And I got their mango Gigi. It's something I always get when I'm out here in Shooting Star late night. Cause they open till like 2, 2 a.m. Yeah, they usually open till about 2 in the morning. And I will get their baked seafood over rice because it's nice and hearty and you get a good variety of seafood with that too. Yeah, looks very cheesy. It what is. do you have in there? So it's a base of uh, egg fried rice with some peppers, onions, a bechamel sauce, mm -hmm. and a mix of different types of seafood. We got shrimp, fish, fish balls as well, along with some peppers and onions. And my mango chichi, it's like a mango smoothie with some tapioca, grapefruit, and some mint leaf. Mango Gigi is really good. I mean, really cold. Love it with the sago. I know the grapefruit is really bitter with it. The mango Gigi is really sweet. It's my type of sweetness. I love it. Very sweet. They have some fresh mangoes here as well. Put that crunchy texture to it too. Pretty good. I love it. Really good. Cheese actually works really well with the sauce. It's nice and creamy but without overpowering it. It kind of coats everything too, so it actually adds like a really good flavor to it. You gotta like the cheese on that fried rice. It's Take a very it. colorful look to it. Mm -hmm. Normally when I'm there, I get a uh, gravy rice. So they have a good variety of options too. You can get dessert, full-on meal, you're uh, out late nights and you're looking for something filling, nice and filling after an night of partying, yeah. bar hopping, things like that. Perfect place to go to. I mean, just adding that yeah. with this, what yeah. a combo. Right. You something got the perfect hot, meal. And then something cold. And the next spot on our list is Gold Meadow. It's another spot that I go to late night. I don't drink, but I know when people go there, they're normally drunk. I'm not saying it's gum cold quality, but it's good for a late night eat. One of those midnight spots if you're ever craving warm soup or filling meat. Now we have here our Gold Meadow. You over here, you have... I got their combination barbecue plate. I chose the roast pork, roast crispy pork. And I also got the barbecue pork over rice. And I have the wonton meat with duck, which is wontons in there, some noodles, and some duck that they chop. I'm not sure how I'm gonna eat this in front of y'all. Oh no, the bag's fine. It's very difficult to eat all this right here, so I'll let you take over for now. All right, so I got their barbecue pork and the roast pork, which is usually what you see when you go to Chinatown, you'll see that. And Chinese restaurants, they usually have their meats hanging. Usually you see those items hanging in the window. Good way to bring people in, yeah. especially like late night. It has that after Hong the bar, vibe yeah. with it, right? Yeah. yeah, definitely. This is nice and filling, especially like after late night of drinking. Yeah. Uh, out hanging out, things like that. And you need something like nice and filling. Nice and tender, mm -hmm. not too sweet. Really good flavor. Yeah, it's really good. And I also got their crispy pork, which I mainly get for the skin because that skin, skin right there is nice and crackly. And the thing about gold metal is, um, it normally opens late, but that was pre-COVID. During COVID, we're not sure about that, so do check with the time beforehand, call them. You can't beat it too, you get a lot of food for less than 15 bucks. Rice with soy sauce on it, right? Soy sauce, pork, yeah. You gotta get your vegetables too. Dennis came up with an idea, and we made it work. This is actually just less than half of an order, so let's go give it a try. Go eat this stuff. Mm -hmm. That's good, it's crispy, meat tender. Duck is really good. Can't go wrong with the uh, Chinese roast duck. It has the spices to it, a little bit of sweetness, fatty, but not in a very heavy way. It's a really good flavor. For the wonton. It's a juicy one. Kind of reminds me of a siu mai, but yeah. a wet version. And now for some noodles. Noodles are always good to eat at night. The egg noodle doesn't have too much taste on it. It does have a chew to it. Yeah. I would like to add some of the chili oil to it. They yeah. did give me some chili oil. All right, guys, that is it for this video. It's a bit of a different one, right? Late yeah. night eats again. Got his milk tea right here uh, as a reward for himself. I still have my mango chiji that I have to finish. So yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and on to the next one. Until then, travel heads.